Yo, hello gamers, welcome, welcome. So, we're gonna actually be learning a bit more about Kanish. More of his gameplay and stuff. We saw his lore last time. I was, like, in a bigger avatar then, but now I'm back in my chibi form. Yeah. This is a character I already said I was gonna probably try to get, just because of how awesome he is, like, lore-wise. And his, uh, Saurian companion that looks like a, um, a 16 or 8-bit, uh, what, what do you call it? video game uh, monster so yeah let's go ahead and see what it's all about and you know see if it's gonna be any fun as well not just aesthetics it's also in Japanese <laughs> oh I actually didn't know that <clears throat> I didn't know that Kanish was a Syrian hunter. Yeah, I'm still doing the story. I kind of took a pause on it. So I'm, I only entered the tournament and then started eating food kind of thing. So I haven't really gotten that far yet. But like, I guess it makes sense because his last video, which was the teaser, it showed him just like maybe hunting the Syrian. You know what I mean? Tonaru. Oh, he's a Claymore user. Okay. Claymore. Uh, do I have any good Claymores, though? I only have, like, the four star from all the way back in Leeway. Oh, maybe a critical one. He totally looks like he would be in an anime. Like, straight up, not just Genshin Impact, he looks like he'd totally be in, like, e either in, like, Demon Slayer or, like, a, uh, a sports anime. That's... Oh, wait, what? What the heck? Did he just use a cannon? That was weird. But that was pretty cool. He, he like, grapples onto them and moves around. Riding high. Wait, I, I want to watch that again. Hold up. That's pretty good. That's actually kind of good. That's kind of goaded, to be honest. The grappling hook in the sky. That's so nice. But I don't know if I'm gonna. <sighs> I see the grappling hook thing already because I played other games that have that feature, right? So to have it as like a character thing, it's not like, you know, like super important. Like I'm, I kind of already am past the phase of the grapple hook. Eh. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that 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 was that was actually kind of cool. Hold up. So he can expend in mid-air to perform an extra swing. I want to see the extra swing again. It, it didn't look like a swing. It kind of just looked like he went through like a portal. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, he did use it. I, I got distracted because of the circle that went around him. But that's actually really nice. A double grapple. Dude! Dude! That's actually really neat. I like that. So you can transition? But, hmm. I wonder who I could possibly use to transition. Yelan, maybe? Right? That'd be pretty good because she's like one of the fastest characters, right? I want to know what this part is, though. Like, the, um, the green highlight cone. Oh, it's a blind spot. 
Oh, it's like a little video game. I wonder if it pops up multiple times then, or is it just like one time per grapple? That's cute. I like how the enemies are basically just standing there after they get like uh the grapple on them. They're like, nah, we're not gonna go forward or hit them or anything. We're just gonna stand here. I'm curious though. Like if you had like the sacrificial great sword or something, would you be able to use that skill twice, the one where you grapple them and then keep going around them? Like, I feel like you could do that like the whole time then, right? Sure, it's a I'm sure it's a long cooldown, but if you have like two of them, then that'd be a different story. That's so cool. I can kind of already see how I would build the team just because of this skill that he's using. Not not the dragon thing, but his uh, grapple slide because he's going to be on the field more often than not, right? So he'd be the main damage dealer. So you would probably get a healer or something, like a summon heal so it would do damage. Just some sort of like healing. Uh, then you would have either a summon or a, a buff to support him. Or just have like a, a, yeah, like I said, a summon. So I guess, let's say if I had to choose, I would prep with my team comp, I would probably use him, uh, maybe Raiden, but Raiden, when you use her alt, you kind of have to play as her for a bit. So I, I'm not too entirely sure for that one. Um, I would use the uh, mermaid chick, Kator. No, not Kator. What? What? What the heck's her name? The one that looks like a mermaid. I have her on my team. The one from Sango Sango no Mia. Anyways, that one that summons like the healing jellyfish. That one would be pretty good too. Uh, obviously him. Then there'd be one slot open for either a, an attack summon, or a shield, or. No, you probably won't even run a shield because of how fast he moves. You would go for, like, another attack, right? You'd either get something that summons to do damage, or basically any character that's, like, they can shoot something out and do damage, and then you can swap off them. Like, as long as it's, like, a quick transition character, I think it would be pretty good with this guy. Dude, that that actually just gave me like Digimon flashbacks just then. His ultimate gave me Digimon flashbacks. Like, did you guys see that? It it's like it, it reminds me of it reminds me of the card swipe back in Digimon. I don't I it has like the same similar vertical aesthetic to it. It's just he doesn't have like the uh the handheld and stuff. Yeah, Increase movement speed? What the heck? That is bizarre, but also, you're fine. I mean, it saves on time, I guess. So, I guess he'd be like the fastest character besides Jalan now, right? Oh, 
時間を無駄にするのは彼のスタイルではない獲物を狩る時も報酬を要求する時もだ戦闘中まず元素スキルで夜魂のカゴ状態に入る鍵縄で敵とリンクし柔軟に移動法 I will say his talent kind of blows for the fact that like it's for Natland only like You only can use it in Natlan. It, it kind of blows because, like, in the past, there'd be characters like Ning Wong that would, like, do something that's, like, worldwide. Like, it doesn't matter where you use her, and it, it affects it、uh, anywhere you go. Like, it shows the rock and ores on the map. Like, why can't we have more stuff like that? I don't like these specific、uh, location ones. I wouldn't mind though if it was like,、uh, if it was a location specific one, if it was more like a double drop or something. Chance for double drop. That's actually really good. Zhang Ling. I think that's her name, right? Zhang Ling? I was actually thinking of her, but like, I was also thinking about how Gyoba might work. Yeah, that, that'd be a good one. So you would use him, uh, Zhongling, uh, Kokomi. Oh, I remembered her name. It's Kokomi. The jellyfish girl's name is Kokomi. You, you would summon both of those plus him, and then you'd have one slot open for a sub DPS, I guess you would call it. <laughs> I, I still love the name Aha. It just sounds like a laugh. Aha. Kagojotaiyoenchoshi.Dameijoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyoataiyo